So in the beginning, well, before the beginning, before creation, there were separate elemental energies existing. And then the energy of God contacted all of these energies and invited them to collaborate in the creation of something greater. That something greater is made possible by the energy of love. That energy of love is the glue that holds the universe together. So with this inspiration, God created the universe. Some of these elemental energies um, saw the universe and looked on it with favor and became favored by God. And some of them looked at it and saw flaws. And so they tried to deny the perfection of God's creation. And they're actively messing with us now. And like the fall of man and Adam and Eve is um, through listening to these voices. And Adam and Eve might be real, might be a parable, it doesn't really matter like the metaphors here. So these energies exist. Uh, their energies are, some of them are aligned, some of them are not. Some of the ones that are not are actively messing with us. And they're doing this because they wanna understand how to do their own creations. So they tear apart God's creation in an attempt to understand how it was created. Or they attempt to tear apart God's creation. They can't do it because God sparks mere dust to life. So even if Armageddon were to happen again, which it's not gonna, but if it were to, the cycle would be to continued through God's creations. So these things are everlasting and regenerative. So these energies that are not satisfied or not understanding of God's creation and the glory of it you know, all of nature, all the universe, everything like that, seek to disrupt and destroy just in order to understand things. They're basically children in a sense. And they're never going to understand or gain mastery by tearing apart something someone else did. If they really want to understand things, they should look within and try to understand themselves and pick themselves apart not by destroying themselves, but by paying attention, looking within and bit by bit, understanding themselves and what their energies are and what the values of their energies are and why they're incorporated into the universe. Because in the beginning, before the beginning, they gave a piece of themselves to God because they were asked to. So that's just one way of looking at things. Uh, might clarify some things for you, help you understand a little bit more. Um, I know 